At this point, I think there has to be some kind of relationship between the amount of people that tell you about Matthew Walker and his book Why We Sleep, and then the amount of people that then have to reconsider and recontextualize their choices around their sleeping schedules and their sleeping routines, if it's obviously within their control. And to realize that maybe the habits that they're holding, even if they are working for them, might not be what they're looking for. And recently, I think I've hit that tipping point. The amount of times I have heard about Matthew Walker and his book, Why We Sleep, is astounding. And so I think at this point, I would almost be doing myself a disservice if I didn't at least consider what was said and to at least try what has been mentioned and to you know reflect on my own sleep schedule as compared to the regular routine of simply doing as much as I can and unfortunately a lot of the time my sleep can tend to take a hit as a result of that prioritization. I've wanted to make this video for quite a while now and the thing that actually brought it to the forefront of my mind was actually a challenge set to me by a close friend and I'll spare you the details but I ended up losing the bet and what that means is that now as a result of that I have to get at least eight hours of sleep each night for a month and for me unfortunately that is going to be probably one of the hardest things that I will try to accomplish to date. And I hear you saying, but Matt, you just need to literally do nothing. You need to do less. It is less active engagement than you were doing previously. How can that be a hard thing? For me, unfortunately, and fortunately, I find myself drawn to be doing things as much as I can for the better or worse, for my betterment or my detriment. But in that way, I can tend to struggle when I'm not doing a lot of things. And as I said at the beginning of this video, that can tend to mean that I might lose out on sleep. And that can tend, that, tend to mean that I prioritize other things over resting because as the title of this video suggests this complicated relationship I've had with sleep has meant that I may at times have discounted or seen it as less essential than it surely is and even though I am still able to do a lot of things I'm still able to function at quite a high level I genuinely am curious to see how much betterment this could provide. If it doesn't really do much for me, then I won't really continue it. If it turns out to change my life and really reshape the perspective I have of how I go about my days and my routines, then of course I'll keep it. But the main message here is that reinvestigation taking that time to reconsider the choices that I've made and to reevaluate the value of them and to really dig a little bit deeper into how I can do things better, not only for my self-care and, and my health, but also for my performance. Because if this is something that can kind of help in both areas, it wouldn't make sense not to do it. And as a part of this next 30 days of doing my absolute best to get eight hours of sleep each and every night, I'm also going to be reading Why We Sleep. So I can hopefully not only get the experiential component, but I can educate myself a little bit more on this topic. Because if there is so many people in my life that I love and respect telling me that it is of value, then it, again, wouldn't make sense not to take that into consideration. So that's all I have for you today. Just a quick little update 
on an interesting challenge that I'm really keen to pursue. And if any of you think that it sounds interesting as well, then feel free to follow along and do it with me or do it in your own time whenever you view this video. And I'd be really keen to hear how it goes for you, whether that is in the comments or maybe even a better place would be in our recently formed Discord channel where it's slowly finally starting to take off and get some traction and get some interaction and I've been really enjoying seeing the kind of conversations and dynamic that is starting to develop there. So feel free to check that out. The link will be in the description below. And if you're wanting to be, you know, a little bit more in touch with the kind of daily things that I'm doing, then I'll also have my Instagram linked in the description as well. But as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here and do more than you think you can.